Hi friends, welcome to another Tis of Lots Before Christmas. Today is actually, what is today? Oh my goodness, it is Tuesday, December the 5th. I'm actually sitting outside of Rolling Oaks Mall. If you're from the San Antonio area, then you are familiar with this mall. There's an H&M in this mall. And I needed a Christmassy sweater for the holidays because of uh, a thing we're doing for work and so I was like okay I have to do this on a budget because I'm not really supposed to be spending money on myself and so I did find a pretty red sweater I didn't try it on which probably could or could not be a good or a bad thing but I'm gonna go with it because if it don't fit I'll just return it and get my money back but I got this cute sweater it was on clearance for $22.99 from $29.99 it's the off the shoulder y'all know i love anything off the shoulder it's got the kind of loose sleeves that's what the sleeves look like and then i think it's gonna hang past my buttocks and i'm gonna wear my black leggings with this probably wear my fry boots with this i guess but because it's off the shoulder you know i love everything off the shoulder and i may kind of pull it up and be able to wear it to work like kind of pull it up to here and be able to wear it to work i got a size medium most of the things in h&m kind of run big but i wanted to make sure i had good room in it so i got the size medium it feels really soft but I, what i wanted to share with you all because you know we're trying to do Christmas on a budget and I want to share as many things with you all as I can and I probably have said this a million times before let me turn that down some um, I probably have said this a million times before H&M has a give back policy and if you bring in a bag of clothes you get a 15% off discount with anything that you buy in the store and it can be on sale items also so I ended up getting that sweater for $21 versus the $23 great way to save money especially like right now for the holidays but like period to save money because y'all know I'm always trying to find a bargain even if it's not the holidays but yeah so I was able to get that today that is the max of my spending for myself but I needed a red sweater well I needed something that was Christmassy and I decided to go with a red sweater they did have a pretty green that was exactly like it but I don't have a red sweater and I thought you know what I'm gonna get a red sweater because I used to have a red sweater and I got rid of it because it was getting old and nasty and I think everybody needs a red sweater in their closet um, Valentine's Day Christmas and just whenever you want to wear the color red and my hair is looking kind of funky today like I'm, I feel like I got a mohawk going or something I don't know but I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with this hair being a little bit long and yeah uh, we just working with it but anyway I'm loving the hair though so you know I'm loving it loving it loving it so yeah so don't forget this is not just at the holidays this is anytime I always keep a bag of clothes in my car so I need to now put another bag of clothes in my car so that I can have a bag when I go in there the next time I just wanted to share that with you all we're getting this vlog kicked off it is in the evening I just left work I'm gonna just go ahead and head out now Let's see if I can fit between these two cars without hitting anybody and this is a little bit of space cars park crooked in the parking lot but yes yeah, so I'm about to head home and um, I need to finish editing the vlog that I did on Sunday I have on the sweater dress I actually got this from H&M but um, I have on the sweater dress and it is kind of hot I wanted to wear it today because I wanted to wear my boots and it's cold in my office I know sometimes I may look cray cray because I'll have on uh, like like extra clothing because it gets so cold in my office that I have to be prepared to be warm and I can't stand to be at work and cold and there's a vent like right over my head at work and it just makes me miserable I'm gonna cut through um, the back way I'm not gonna hit 35 I'm gonna head home through the back way today I wish I had money to get me a black rock coffee but I don't have money for a black rock coffee that is my new fave y'all I'm telling y'all when the girl tell y'all she loves some black rock coffee she loves some black rock coffee okay but we're not gonna be getting it because it'll cost me eight bucks I just bought that sweater so I really can't indulge in anything else um, is this guy gonna be nice and let me in thank you sir you're so kind 
I can't see. The sun is all up in my eyes. All up in my eyes, y'all. How are you all doing with your Christmas shopping? The traffic is trafficking out here today. I forget what it's like because I literally stay in my little bubble most of the time. Like I go to work and I come home and I don't really get on the highway very often. Y'all, it's, it's a nightmare out here, okay? It's not for the week. It's not for the week. I have managed to make it home. I made myself a little mocktail in my favorite glass. I'm drinking the same thing I've been drinking all week, which is cranberry juice with mango and a little twist of lime. It's so refreshing. It's one of my favorite beverages to have. And of course, I love having it in my glass. But I decided that I would come sit here on the floor in my favorite spot for filming in front of my tree and I would share with you some of my favorite perfumes. And one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you all is because getting back to what my subscriber had mentioned about getting gift sets and breaking them up and giving from people different pieces from a gift set, it's such a great way to save money. But also this time of year, there is usually a lot of gift sets for perfumes. And you can buy like a big bottle for yourself and then have the little sample bottle or maybe the lotion that will come in a gift set and you can gift that off to someone else if you want to find a way to save money. So I thought I would share with you all a few of my favorite. I'm gonna show you all my most loved one first and then we're gonna move on into a few other ones that have been my most loved at some points at different times. This one right here is the Alien Goddess. I'll put the correct name for it below. I love, love, love this one. Oh, it's such a smell, it's such a smell. And I only have like about a corner left in this bottle. I made the mistake of buying the smaller bottle of this because the larger bottle I think was out of stock at the time. And I wanted it so bad and I bought the smaller bottle. But this is a fragrance that I would say, for me personally, I would buy the large bottle. You can find this in a gift set if you like this fragrance. Get this one and then whoever you give it to will probably absolutely love it. I know perfumes are very personable, but it could be someone that you know would actually love the perfume because they've smelled it before. They said they wanted it. But this one is one of my favorites. This one is called Tule de Hermes. And I was following a YouTuber and she mentioned this and I was like, for some reason, I was just drawn to the, the name, the way she said it smelled. I purchased it. I wore it and wore it, wore it. I think I may have a corner left in this one. And I bought the goddess, the alien goddess last year around Valentine's Day. And I think I got this one last year around Christmas time or somewhere in there. I'm not married to any particular fragrance. I kind of can go really from one extreme to the other. I don't do really fruity, fruity smells. And I will say I do like very strong, bold scents. So most of these will be very strong and bold. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you of the, that. But definitely go in the store and smell them for yourself. I would never tell you to buy a perfume without sampling. So this is a scent by Jill Malone. It's called Marin and Tonka. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong. It's M-Y-R-R-N. I love this and I bought this or I got this for Christmas uh, several Christmases ago. This bottle is actually empty. When you buy Jill Malone, especially if you go to Dillard's, they will probably give you some good size sample ones and they will be good for stockings or like extra little gifts to give to your best friends or whatever. But this y'all, it is, oh, this is such a, this is a signature scent. This is a scent that I think I will always love, but I don't. I don't know when I'll buy it again, but this will be one of those scents that I know that I would migrate to later on uh, down the road. It brings me to this scent, which is Versace Crystal Neor. This is the original Versace, y'all. When I tell y'all, this is my jam. This is my go-to. I would love to always have this in my collection. Again, I probably got like a corner. <laughs> I have a lot of corners. Like I hold on to those corners because I don't want to be completely out of them. But this is a scent that I would like to always have. It's a signature scent for me. It's one that I have worn for years and years and years since it first, first started coming out. These two scents, like they never go out. You know what I mean? So these are definitely favorites. I'm going to share this one with you real quick. This is one that everybody has. It's Gucci Bloom. I don't know if I actually really like this perfume. I think when I got it, I thought I was going to like it more than I did. I did get a gift set back when I purchased a little travel size perfume bottle. I kept that one for myself also. I've had this one for a while. I keep my perfumes in a dark area so they last a long time. But honestly, I know that I would never buy this again. It's not a bad scent, but it's just not something that I'm particularly fond of. And I wear it more now because I haven't had other perfumes to wear. The Ariana Grande Blue 
is one that I got not that long ago. They were having a sale, so I got it for a very reasonable price, and I got it from Ulta. Now, I was actually surprised that I ended up buying this because I would sample it every time I go in the store and I kept saying, I don't know if it's strong enough for me. Like I, I want a scent that's gonna last and last and last. But what's interesting is I would get in my car two or three days later after I've sprayed it and my seat belt would smell exactly like it. And all while I'd be driving somewhere, I'd be like, gosh, that smell, it. what is that smell? And I would say, oh, it's the Ariana Grande's perfume. But when I saw that it was on sale, so I got it for, I think $45. I believe with the sale price and that's like the side the price of the smaller bottles so i was able to get the bigger bottle and i'm so glad i did i actually really really love this one and since i'm basically out of perfumes i really felt the need to have a new perfume because i do want to have a fragrance all the time going and so even though this one is very inexpensive with the sale like i said it was very inexpensive this is a very good scent and it does last a lot longer than I thought it was. So this is something that I would highly recommend. It's a very popular one. A lot of people talk about it, but I like it. That will say the little cloud thing that it sits in. I think that's why another reason why I didn't really like it was because I'd see that cloud thing. I think in my mind, I had the illusion that it was not going to be a good perfume to have because it looked childish. But I did away with the cloud and I like my little perfume. I love the way it smells. Oh, it smells Yes, yes, yes. It smells so to share those with you in case you're in the market for perfumes, you're looking for gifts for someone. Of course, buying the perfume itself will not be on a budget, but if you can get like a gift set where you can split it up, because I know some of the stores right now can get 20% uh, off fragrances uh, or they'll have a coupon that you can use. If you can do something like that, it's when I would say buy your perfumes. Like I said, I only buy perfumes at two times a year. Well, really three times a year. I will buy them Mother's Day, Christmas, and Valentine's Day because those are the dates that they have, like the gift set. That is all for now. I just wanted to share that with you all. If you are in the market, if you have any other questions about any of the fragrance that I showed you, feel free to ask me below and I'll try to answer them for Before you. Before I go, I would like to extend out an invitation to be a part of my channel. If you don't know, my name is Sheila. I am attempting to do my version of what some people would call Vlogmas, but I'm not calling it Vlogmas. I'm actually calling it Tis the Vlogs Before Christmas because I'm vlogging whenever I possibly can. You will see vlogs from me related to Christmas mostly between now and December 25th as often as I can get them up. I would love to have you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am married, living alone. My husband and I live in two separate states. I am navigating my 50s in the best way, about to change my life completely um, and join him in Myrtle Beach. So definitely, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know the love that I have for you. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you.